Hey there, Marianne here. So I got out of bed today and uh, realized that today is World Mental Health Day from one of my friend's status and I uh, just felt the need to talk, not because I am qualified in any way, don't get me wrong, but because um, somehow I've had the opportunity to work in a psychiatric psychiatric unit and i have also worked in um, a public health facility for a day or two and was privileged to be involved in therapeutic sessions with individuals suffering from different kinds of mental illnesses and uh, one thing is sure is that uh, if you don't care for your mental health it deteriorates and it's not just the mind that deteriorates your other body begins to deteriorate with them and that is why on days like this it is important for us to talk about coping strategies how to cope, how to, you know, uh, you know, sustain and, uh, uh, and, and remain still, even with all the noise going on in your head, the noise going on in your mind. You know, Christians will say, oh Lord, silence the noise in my mind because they believe that there's a higher power that can control what is going on. Now, you cannot force anybody to be Christian. You cannot force anybody to believe in God. You cannot force anybody to... Have that strong faith that there's a higher power that can silence. That is why we have other forms of coping strategy for you or for whoever you know that might be going through it. And even if you're a Christian, don't rely solely on waiting on the higher power to silence, silence your mind. God has given you that wisdom. God has given you that strength if you ask for it to help yourself to cope with life. That is because a Christian doesn't guarantee that you will not go through things in life. You will go through stuff. You will go through stuff. And how you handle those things shows how far you have come with you knowing to cope with life. Because this psychosis we see on the street is... is this, this Psychosis is the mad people that we see, in quotes, you know, we call mad people. They, they didn't just wake up to get mad. The symptoms were there. It was coming. But that African thing in us, we were not taking care of it. Now, how does it get bad? You're going through so much. Instead of you to find coping strategies that are healthy, that are healthy to care for you, we begin to find ourselves abusing things. Why? Oh, I feel this way. I feel depressed. Do you have you asked yourself why some people drink every day? They drink and, you know. Why? Because they have realized that when they are in that, the, the stress of life comes. They take a, a bottle of alcohol, it calms them down. They continue to take, they continue to take, they begin to build tolerance. They begin to build tolerance and they, they, the numbers of what they take begin to increase. Not just out of alcohol, all other substances, people abuse them. Why? Because they get comfort, they get that solace, they get peace. They get peace from it. It calms the mind. Now, does it help? It helps to calm it, but it begins to build up and it becomes an addiction and they can't come out of it. And that addiction continues because one of the major causes of even that makes it worse than mental state of mind is abusing of substances. Now, that is why we have coping strategies that are healthy. I really don't can talk about them in this video. I want you to do yourself a favor. You know yourself. If you begin to tell yourself the truth, the earlier you tell yourself the truth, the better for you. So you know yourself. If you feel like you're going through anything that you feel like you've not been yourself lately, whatever the situation is, you don't have to talk to anybody about it because I understand that it might be difficult for us to have therapies in in Nigeria, even all over the world, even here, getting a therapist is hard. That is why people put out videos on YouTube. People do podcasts to help you. You know, because we are very rigid as Africans, we are very strong, we have gone through things. When we hear these coping strategies, we'll be, we'll, you will be making faces like, hey, I beg, what be this? So this thing, if I do, I go help me. It will, it will help you. Protect your peace at all costs. Peace of mind. You know what peace of mind is? That is mental health. If your mind is at peace, you're, you're well mentally. Why? Because you don't let things bother you. It's one of the characteristics of a meant good mental well-being. Protect your peace at all costs. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. You will see people, they will post statues. You think the whole world is watching it. No. It's not the whole world. So people watching that statue, they are not up to 30. Somebody like me. Protect your peace. Whatever it will take you to protect your peace. If you are feeling uncomfortable watching someone's status, maybe the person's state of life is making you feel like, I am not doing well for myself. Block the person. It's normal. Block the person so that you don't begin to feel like you're not doing okay. If you, if anybody's status is too toxic for you, mute the person. 
block the person, remove the person's number if you, if you don't have any need for it. These are strategies, some of the strategies to help you because by the time you are there, you are seeing all those things, you'll be sad, you'll be sad. It leads to depression. From mild depression, it gets to moderate, it gets to severe. We will not understand the importance of coping strategies until we go and tell ourselves the truth and begin to learn to cope. The video we always get long. I've done this video like 100 times. It's still exceeding like 5 minutes. Please, the essence of this video is for us to learn to cope with life. Because whether we like it or not, something must happen. How do you intend to cope? Do you want to be using substances? Yeah, it will give you that image, that peace. But your tolerance level begins to deteriorate. You take it, it doesn't work. You continue to take it, it becomes addiction. Breaking from that one is even worse than mental illness. And there are very few people who are addicted without different kinds of diagnosis of mental health. Yeah, so just take care of your mental health. It is very important. And uh, good luck to all of us. I am not a certified therapist. I am just sharing my thoughts.